Hey man, we made a blog. Huh? Remember the old days we'd come we'd come in here and go, Hey man, we made uh I don't know Time magazine or <laughs> or Yeah. Or we're on the news last now night. Like now we a, get excited what a blog talks about. A us. blog. <laughs> Is it a big blog? I don't even know. It's a, it probably locally. Yeah. In Atlanta. Our October's getting a little heat already. Remember that October. Guy? Yeah, I guess somebody reported do you, on a blog. Do you even remember the show we did yesterday? <laughs> no, I never remember. I uh, remember they were in Atlanta. show. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a broad that had maybe a DUI thing happening. I don't oh, remember right. the name of the show. Right, right. Morning Mashup? That's right. <laughs> That's what we tell these uh, shows. Don't worry about it. It's one day. It's one day. Hang in there. You can make it for a day. And then I swear most of us don't even remember the, the name of the show, your yeah. names. <laughs> don't worry about don't it. Worry it's nothing about personal. It. <laughs> don't take it so personally. But uh, this guy does a radio and TV talk column, or, or is this a one and done? Rodney Ho. The headline is, Opie and Anthony Mock, Star 94, Cindy and Jimmy. What? Why would we do that? Opie and Anthony, the raucous XM morning host, Ooh. mock radio TV morning shows from all over the country every October in a bit dubbed Jocktober. Jocktober. The target this morning, Cindy Simmons and Jimmy Alexander from Star 94. The show takes clips and critique and quotations. Critiques. <laughs> I use the term loosely. The show, <laughs> the show takes clips and critique them. Not always in a constructive way. Oh. How about never in a constructive way? I think it's very constructive. Yeah. Very Stop Absolutely. the hole. It's it's an anti-hole campaign that we have going. <laughs> Fucking anti dumb bitches. Anti-hole. <laughs> yeah. It's ruining radio. Mm -hmm. These stupid mm -hmm. program directors. Not yoky enough. We don't have a lot of holes on uh, satellite radio, I've, I've noticed. Hmm. The women, the women uh, yeah. that broadcast for Sirius XM are a bit stronger. Jenny Hutt? She, I can't, no. no she's really. fine. I hear her on that goddamn Dr. She's, Dr. Drew well, show. I want to fucking Well, she's a hole for Dr. My Dr. Drew, television. but... <laughs> she is. But she's loving the fact she's got a little TV Ooh. gig, so... Oh, I think. Can't she takes, blame her. Takes that liberal angle every we, time. We make fun of Nicole for the morning mashup, but she's strong. She's yeah. a strong woman broadcaster. Ooh. She is. And she's less of a hole than some of the other people on that show. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Sam Roberts with a fucking right hook. Yeah, right. but then I'll let them all try to figure out who I was talking about. Nah. Well, <laughs> well, she's the strongest gal on that show. You think so? Yeah, when the gals throw the ball around, she <laughs> seems to be the quarterback. <laughs> In the first clip, Cindy started singing the first verse of Vanilla Ice's Ice Ice Baby. Oh, I remember that. Since that was the backdrop song introducing the celebrity news segment. They noted the irony, since the station promotes itself as the hits without the rap. Mm -hmm. That's right. When Jimmy talked about how much he likes stealing vehicles in the new video game Grand Theft Auto V, Cindy notes that stealing cars is illegal in real life. <laughs> she actually said that. This is a terrible game, she said, with clear disdain as he raved about it. The Opie and Anthony team didn't like her comments, feeling she was shutting down Jimmy's enthusiasm. It makes me physically ill, said comic Jim Norton, part of Opie and Anthony's team. Damn, Jimmy. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's fair to say there is probably no overlap between Opie and Anthony's audience and fair Cindy enough. and Jimmy's audience. Fair enough. Zip. Opie and Anthony's a show for guys who like strip clubs, beer, and video games. Wow. Cindy and Jimmy cater to soccer moms with talk about raising kids, shopping, and Katy Perry. <laughs> it's like that fucking bit. What was it? Uh, uh, doofus and Goofus. Goofus and Gallant. Goofus yeah. and Gallant. There you go. Gallant. I don't know. I don't remember the exact name of that, but mm. it's fair to say there's probably. Okay, we did that. So it's no shock. Opie and Anthony groaned as they listened to Cindy and a caller who squealed after she won a purse. <laughs> <laughs> Then, Cindy shared her meal from the night before. Salmon, Parmesan noodles, and a mix of squash, zucchini, and mushrooms. Opie said, she's even a dullard in what she eats. <laughs> At that point, they went online to see what she looked like and agreed, Cindy's good looking. Then, thanks to Google, <laughs> <laughs> yes. they found a story I wrote, I guess this guy wrote, in 2006, 
about her DUI and read bits from it. I think they liked her more after they discovered she was a drinker. (laughs) Nonetheless, they concluded that Cindy and Jimmy provided morning... Oh, boy. Milk and toast. Milk and toast. Milk toast. No, that's how it's really spelled? Isn't yes. that odd? Yes. No. Yeah. Wow. I learned something today. <laughs> Milk and toast. <laughs> Milk and toast. <laughs> While they were talking about Cindy and Jimmy, Opie and Anthony's fans flooded Star 94's morning show Facebook page with obscene content. So the station took the page down before the bit was even over. Aww. Scott Lindy, Star 94's program director... Acknowledge the Facebook page issue, but declined to comment further. <laughs> oh, come on. Comment further. Cindy's Twitter feed is protected, which means she has to approve each and every person who may view that account's tweets. I would include audio of the bit, but there's cursing and such on it. You could hear it on YouTube starting at the 20 minute point here. And they gave a link, I guess. Uh, and this is how an Opie and Anthony fan described it after posting it on YouTube. If you thought yesterday's October was lacking, this one will make you happy. The target is Cindy and Jimmy in the morning on Star 94. Currently down, thanks to ONA fans. Woohoo. <laughs> oh, the Facebook page. Okay. That's a pretty mm-hmm. fair blog. It just pretty much <laughs> says what happened. Right. And then, of course, I've left messages with Cindy and Jimmy, though I don't know if either are allowed to talk to me about it, even if they wanted to. So, what about us? So that's Rodney Ho. We have comments. We do? Yay. Yeah, he didn't Yay. talk to us. He didn't talk to us. Yeah, you should have talked to us. We'd, yes. have, we'd have given you a quote. Yeah, his, his, he wrote, return, calls from Opie and Anthony's show were not returned. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't want to get back to us. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Jocktober's doing well so far. Nice. I think we might be squeezing in a Jocktober after the break. We have oh. more today? Oh, yeah. We're going to roll the dice, though, today. Oh. What are we doing today? We're going to see what a certain somebody has to offer. Is he here yet? He should be. And he's usually well prepared, right? Oh, we we discussed this. Oh, Has he been working on this for a while? Yeah, well, he was supposed to be. Oh. And we discussed in depth yesterday. <laughs> Jimmy's already in. Uh, ugh. <coughs> we got a nice ugh. Oh, that's funny. He said he's got... He's perfect for Jocktober, though, Jimmy. I know. Geez. He's got some air checks. <laughs> no, I know. Sure, really, I know. Really. I know. I know. <laughs> he's got some air checks that include everything he loves, he said. Oh, nice. So he's going to show us what he loves in radio? Yes. Dennis Falcone? That's right. You got it. Another appearance from Dennis Falcone. Dennis Denny Falcone. Dennis Denny Falcone. He's a big star. That's right. All right, so we'll do Jocktober a little later. Mm-hmm. And also we got uh, Megan McCain coming in today. Very nice. She's very excited to do our show. Yeah, she's I'm happy be awesome. she's coming. She's great. She is great, right? Ooh. She speaks her mind a little bit. Yeah, a little quite bit. a bit. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. So we'll I, have fun with that. I have to whore myself. Ooh, so, Jimmy. Going back on the road to start working on material. Tickets are cheaper. October 18, 19. Remember the one that the fucking people got mad at me for? I, I told you I'd be out of town for that. There's a cancer benefit, which I will plug, but I will not be here. I'm going to be in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Stitches Comedy Club. Friday, Saturday, October 25, 26. The Comedy Club in Rochester. And then uh, November 1st at the Beacon. Ooh. It's my exciting schedule. Jimmy Norton. I think that's very exciting. I just want to work on the material. Mm. So happy to be getting out. Fucking... Hired to do a 20 minute set. <laughs> Fucking sick of it. Trying to get out there and work on stuff. But I, I go up with paper sometimes and I read all. You know what I mean? Not a read all, but I mean, I have it to reference. That's, That's hip. It's okay. a fun process, man. Uh-huh. And I think it's very cool for the Jim Norton fan to see how it all comes yeah. together. Yeah, smaller and, and then down the road, you'll see it on like an HBO or a Showtime or an Epics or Crazy. whatever. And you go, holy fuck, I, I, I saw that when he was working on that shit. Mm-hmm. Sometimes these shows are more fun because there's a lot of times I'll do stuff now that I wind up forgetting then. And I'm like, why did I fucking, this bit used to be nine minutes. Now it's a minute and eight. <laughs> like a lot of times these old, these early shows are the parts that I, I'm not mm-hmm. just in it to sell tickets. Cause I really don't give a fuck how many people show up. I just want to. Do no, you did it last year and it, it worked out very well. Yeah. And uh, people were very happy with your performance. So I, hope I think it's pretty exciting. Very cool. All right. Uh, I don't know. We got this. <laughs> The Opie and Anthony Show on Sirius XM.